Let's watch a preview from A Child Betrayed, the Calvin Meyer story from the series Life Stories, Families in Crisis. So Calvin, how would you like to serve God? I already go to Mass. As an altar boy. Really? Mm -hmm. Really. You should be very proud of yourself. The Father thinks so highly of you. I am. Um, when would you like Calvin to start? Next week would be fine. Uh, we'll start you off at the 6.30 Mass. You can watch how the other boys do it, get comfortable that way. And in a couple of weeks, you'll be ready to serve. 6.30? In the morning? Yeah, in the morning. my father for I have sinned. My last confession was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Um, well, I was sick last week, so I missed Mass, that's why. Hmm. My brother Marshall's sick now, but he'll be coming to church on Sunday. My mom said, Calvin, you're always bringing something home. But Father Rooney, is that a sin, even if it was an accident? I don't think God will hold that one against you. And I swore once this week, too, but it wasn't one of the real big words. And I found a quarter at school, and I could have turned it in, but I didn't. And I had an impure thought. What type of impure thought? One of the ones we talked about in religious instruction. Oh, yes. Only it really wasn't my thought, because these older boys weren't thinking it and saying it, and I was standing nearby and hurt. I see. Anything else, Calvin? No, except that I'm sorry for everything I did wrong. For your penance, I'd like you to say three Hail Marys. Okay. And Calvin, if you find yourself with an extra quarter this week or next week, you might want to give it to the principal. Tell him that you found it. Okay, Oh, my God, I'm hardly sorry for everything. Through the death and resurrection, his son is reconciled. Oh, my God, I'm hardly sorry for everything. Through the death and resurrection, his son is reconciled.
wasn't doing anything. Oh, didn't you want to say you were? No. But father has something he wants to tell you. So, Calvin, how would you like to serve God? I already go to Mass. As an altar boy. Really? Mm hmm Really. You should be very proud of yourself. The Father thinks so highly of you. I am. Um, when would you like Calvin to start? Next week would be fine. Uh, we'll start you off with the 6.30 Mass. You can watch how the other boys do it, get comfortable that way. And in a couple of weeks, you'll be ready to serve. 6.30 in the morning? Yeah, in the morning. Hey, Marshall, can I tell you a secret? Sure. But you can't tell. I won't. Promise. Not even Mom. Good yeah. shot. I used to pray that something like this would happen to me. That Father asked me to be an altar boy. It sort of surprises me at work. What? That God heard me. I mean, everyone's talking to him at once. Good shot. Thanks. He doesn't need to hear you. Father Rooney says God knows and sees everything, everywhere, all the time. Yeah, but that he paid any attention to me out of all the others. You must be amazing. What do you have to do? I don't know. Guess you just do what Father says. My shot. Hold the wine or the plate under people's chins if they take communion. Billy said you see down their mouths that way. He told me John's dad is only seated on the top. The bottom ones are all missing. I'm gonna take a look. Kenny told me the best thing about being altar boy is camp. Father gives you rifles and fishing poles. And he's got all these computer games at the rack three. Here you go. That only thing that only altar boys can play. Good shot. Yeah. I didn't pray for any of that. I just wanted to be an altar boy. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah. Hey, leave those bottles alone. Go. Go ahead, get out of here. Go, Marcus, run. This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Calvin, you did well. Thanks. Marshall! Oh, Mom! Morning. Morning. Careful, rolls hot. Let me see that hand, please. Which one? I think either one will do. Uh-huh, let me see the other one, please. Do you think God enjoys having dirty fingernails at his mask? I don't know. Well, I do. He doesn't. Go and give him a good scrubbing, please. And that shirt, how many days have you been wearing it now? I don't know. Listen, I want one with a nice, clean, pressed collar, please. Oh, come on, what's the difference? I put a thing over to church. No one's going to see what I'm wearing. I'm staying for mass. I'll know. Mom! Listen, I hope you don't talk back to Father Rooney the way you do to me. When Father tells you to do something, you just do it. Marshall! And listen, I want you to change those shoes. Put on the nice leather ones that Grandma got you, okay? If I'd known it was going to be like this. And hurry up now. Father picked you so you'd be an example. Marshall, for the last time, I'm telling you, your breakfast is ready. Come down here now. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs>
Calvin, I'll hear your confession now. Stand. This is a special type of confession, Calvin. Just for altar boys. It's not everybody who gets to say their confession face to face to their priest. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Calvin. But... Before we start, this uh, this is not the way an altar boy ties his belt. It's wrong. That's, that's all right. You know what? Let's just take the whole thing off and start again. What? Just, let's just, just take this off. I want to show you how to get dressed properly. Right here's fine. Go ahead. shirt. My mom lined it special. I won't let it get wrinkled. Calvin, that's me, Father Rooney. It's all right. This is something I ask all the boys to do. You trust Father? One undressing. Now, Calvin, do you remember the story about the garden? See if you can stand naked and not be ashamed. 